there was a 400% increase in searches for how to move to Canada during the counting of the US presidential election votes. The highest number of searches came from states that heavily supported Vice President Kamala Harris, including states like Vermont, Oregon and Washington. According to Google Trends report, Canada-related searches saw over 5,000% increase on the day Trump's victory was confirmed. Apart from Canada, countries like Japan, Brazil and Costa Rica were the other countries most searched for. Facebook and Instagram users in Europe can now see less personalized ads if they don't want to pay for an ad-free subscription. Tech giant Meta has also announced a 40% price reduction in the current no-ad subscription. This means that Facebook and Instagram will only show ads based on what you're currently looking at on the app. Moreover, these ads will only be related to things seen in the last two hours. However, people who choose the new option will have to watch unskippable ads for a few seconds. Experts say Meta's latest move is targeted towards appeasing EU regulators. E-commerce giant Amazon is exploring a faster way to handle deliveries with a new innovation, smart eyeglasses for drivers. These glasses are currently in development under the codename Amelia. The glasses are designed to display turn-by-turn -turn directions on a small screen embedded in the lens to reduce delivery time. The hands-free setup will allow drivers to navigate both buildings and streets without relying on handheld GPS devices. The design is intended to look similar to Amazon's Echo Frames. However, creating a lightweight battery lasting a full shift for the drivers has proven difficult. Additionally, Amazon must consider if drivers will find the glasses comfortable, non-distracting and compatible with prescription eyewear. At the recent Yishuang Half Marathon in Beijing, a humanoid robot named Tiangong made headlines by joining runners and crossing the finish line alongside them. As the race neared its end, Tiangong stepped onto the track about 100 meters before the finish, acting as a closing pacer to support athletes completing the race together. Developed by the Embodied AI Robotics Innovation Center in Beijing, Tiangong stands 163 cm tall, weighs 43 kgs, and reaches an average running speed of 10 km per hour, maxing out at 12 km per hour. With its electric drive system, it can navigate a variety of terrains, including slopes, stairs, and uneven surfaces like grass, gravel, and sand. The public appearance made Tiangong the world's first electric-powered running humanoid robot to go open source. This move aims to encourage further development in humanoid robotics and speed up their integration into everyday life. A recent study says high-speed internet use may be contributing to rising obesity rates in Australia. The research points to sedentary activities like online gaming and binge-watching as key drivers of obesity. As per experts, access to high-speed internet reduces the likelihood of meeting the World Health Organization's recommended physical activity levels. The study also highlighted how screen time often paired with snacking further encourages sedentary habits. Additionally, the study pointed out that easy online access to goods and services has reduced the need for physical errands and in-person interactions, leading to a more inactive lifestyle. Peru's Chancay port is deploying a fleet of autonomous driverless container vehicles or DCVs from Shanghai. These specialized transport vehicles, built for moving containers within ports and logistics hubs, use advanced sensors and AI to navigate on their own, boosting safety and operational efficiency. This marks a significant breakthrough for Chinese engineering exports, as it's the first large-scale deployment of such vehicles outside China. The DCVs are fully electric and designed with a unique bi-directional capability, allowing both ends to function as the front. They can move traditionally or in a crab-like lateral direction and operate autonomously for up to 14 hours. Each unit has a 70-ton capacity, reaches speed up to 50 km per hour and aligns precisely with containers. 
The fleet of 40 DCVs at Chang'e Port underscores China's progress in autonomous technology and its potential to serve various industries, including bulk terminals, steel mills, chemical parks, and mining operations.